today we're back to the Bible says this, what say you, Psalms 33, verse 4 and the A clause, for the word of the Lord is right. I'm Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. and I'm here with my daughter Crystal Amachuku and we've been talking about um, minister, I guess he's a minister, Kurt Franklin's apology for the church. I want to read something to you right quick. The Bible says in John's Gospel, chapter 3, verse 19, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. I believe this, uh, 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 Kurt Franklin's comments show that people are more in love with darkness than God's truth. And he apologizes for us, uh, for those of us who preach the Bible, for making the Bible into a homophobic manual, whatever that is. But someone responded and agreed with Kurt Franklin, and Crystal's going to read the response, and I'm going to come back and tell you a little bit about the heretic. All right, what, the re what was the response? He says, I too have publicly apologized for the ungodly and unchristlike attitude of hate and judgmentalism, particularly the so-called black church has had toward our LGBTQ sisters and brothers, both in and outside the church. The hypocritical arrogance and ignorance within fundamentalist Christianity, and particularly within the black church, is more of a sin than the group accuses homosexuality of being. Homosectarianism or same-sex relationships in religion are far more threatening than same-sex relationships are with regard to world peace and personal peace of mind. Institutionalized religion and their biases have been a primary contributor to warmongering and violence on this planet and they continue to be. We must stop this madness and come to embrace even that which we may not understand or fully appreciate. What we fight, we ignite, incite, and invite. Oh, he's always been good at rhymes, mm -hmm. but this makes no sense at all. So are you saying then that we shouldn't stand on God's truth? Are you saying, Carlton, that we should not preach the word of the Lord? These are the words of the heretic. Yes, the heretic, Carlton Pearson. Carlton Pearson teaches a, a, a doctrine that is a heresy to biblical Christianity, and the truth is we should not receive uh, Carlton Pearson. The Bible says in 2 John verse 10, if there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, that is biblical Christianity, orthodoxy, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. You're not even to say to him, God bless you, my brother. For he that biddeth him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Mm. Now, Kurt, you know what you were saying had to be crazy because the only person who would uh, would write it, who wrote at least at this point and agree with you is the heretic himself, Carlton Pearson. The Bible says in 1 John chapter, uh, in 1 Corinthians, excuse me, chapter 11 and verse 19, for there must be also heresies among you that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be false teachers. There are going to be false doctrines, but they only shed the light on the true Christian preacher. I want to say to those preachers who are standing on the word of God and who have standards in your church and you have what I call basement standards, you require that the men be straight. And the women uh, are straight. You require that, you know, a guy be masculine and that a, a, a woman be feminine. I mean, basement requirements. Please continue to stand on the word of the Lord. Don't listen to these heretics. Don't listen to these clowns because the word of the Lord is right. Now, this is what the Bible says. What say you? <laughs>